It's Modern Warfare 3 reveal time, boys! Whoa! I definitely haven't already watched this teaser trailer and know that basically nothing happens. <laughs> okay, it's time to react! Well, that's green. What? It- Christmas? N no! It's red. Okay, we don't have to do this. This is a short little clip of the Modern Warfare 3 teaser. Here's everything that you need to know. Right at the very beginning, there's actually a phone number here. I haven't tried calling it, but I did text it. And this is how my conversation went. Okay, so I was texting my boy Captain Price and I secured the comms. He said, major conflict incoming, a lot of opportunity. So I followed that up and said, send me the Modern Warfare 3, please. And things were looking good because he went back and said, we need someone like you with experience in Almazra. Are you able to receive sensitive intel? Yes or no? Now, since the sucker replied, I wanted to seize the opportunity. So I said, remove skill-based matchmaking. He then said, I do not understand. There is no choice. We must proceed. Expect mission-critical intel, a taste of what's to come. Since he didn't listen to me, I decided to respond in typical Infinity Ward fashion and double down by asking him to remove skill-based matchmaking once again. He then sent me this picture and he said, enough for now, more coming soon. I tried, guys. I really tried. I, I tried to stop the skill-based matchmaking, but it's coming. It will most likely still be in this game. But you know what? It's okay because we're going from green into the color red, which is going to be a big deal. As a professor of colorology, who has a master's at the University of Colorado. The color green is usually associated with good things, and Modern Warfare 2 is the perfect Call of Duty game. But by switching into the color red, it actually means things are going to get better, because they're gonna get bad. Trust me, I studied at the University of Colorado. Colorado! I don't know where I'm going with this. Basically, as you go through this thing, we got a bunch of little red spiky spikes. We got Captain Price mooing. He's somewhere in here. That was really... What the... He's not moving. He, oh, he says he's not new. I thought he said he's not moo. Thought we were talking about cows for a second. This isn't cow of duty. Come on, Captain Price. But yeah, you can see Captain Price. You can see his eyeballs right there. That is a Price Captain. We're just gonna go ahead and skip through that. And then, uh, wait, no, I went too far. Dang it. Oh, oh no, no. Never bury your enemies alive. Never bury your enemies alive. And then, yeah, that's uh, most likely Makarov. Not the pistol, but the guy from the game. Honestly, looking at this much red is starting to hurt my eyes. Like, I look off to the distance and I'm seeing different colors. This is bad. As a professor of color, hopefully it doesn't fry my earballs too bad once the full game's out. But yes, we have the official logo confirmation and reveal. And then... Kabloom! November 10th is when the game is... <laughs> is gonna be fully released. If you've been keeping up with the leaks and rumors for Modern Warfare 3, then this is a big nothing burger, I'm sure. In fairness, I am having a lot of fun just goofing around and talking about it, but... Because that's all we can really do at this point, right? Like, we already know that this is gonna basically be an actual Modern Warfare 2.5. This is unreleased DLC that we're gonna have to probably shell out another 60 to $70 for. We already know that this is not great for Call of Duty, but while on the surface this might look like bad news, we've also got some more bad news and probably even more bad news, but there is maybe some good news that I'm going to share with you guys. I love the part when they said we're going to take their money and deliver a subpar product. <laughs> Truly the most Modern Warfare 3 moment of all time. This profile picture is probably going to be a skin for Modern Warfare 3, let's be honest. Imagine releasing DLC as a full game with three fire emojis. I remember the days when you get goosebumps watching stuff like this, but now they've buried their franchise so deep into the sand I don't even care that much. This person watches the Modern Warfare 3 teaser trailer and they're getting depressed. I watched the Modern Warfare 3 teaser trailer, and I'm liking the colors. We are not the same. I am built different. I started at the University of Col- Another unfinished high promise game on the horizon, with all the content we were already promised. I don't- is this negative or positive? I don't- what? I'm really hoping Roach is a part of the campaign this time around, considering he showed up in the originals when Makarov did. With how things have been going with Call of Duty recently, I think there's a higher likelihood that we would get a literal cockroach skin in the store than bringing back Roach, but you never know. Yo, Charlotte Intelligence has already rebranded to the red color skin. Now that's interesting. I don't know how he did that so fast. That was nuts. But this one right here is the big tweet from Charlie Intel that says, so far here are the rumors about Modern Warfare 3. Now keep in mind, this is just rumors. None of this stuff is actually completely real or confirmed until we actually get some kind of announcement or if we can see it and play it. But now that I said that, let's wildly speculate. The first rumor here is that it's going to feature the original Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer maps. Where was this in Modern Warfare 2? <laughs> Make it make sense, man. We bought Modern Warfare 2 2022, and we didn't get any original Modern Warfare 2 maps, at least not in multiplayer. They put it in the Warzone maps. So naturally, it makes a lot of sense 
to put the original Modern Warfare 2 maps in Modern Warfare 3 2023, the game that was probably never supposed to be a game and instead be an expansion, which actually we will talk about in a bit. But next up for the rumors, we have Red Dots on the minimap. You know, some of the stuff we have seen. This is kind of just like a nice, neat tweet that puts everything together. A lot of the stuff basically is the same, though. We'll go over it quickly. Classic minimap where the Red Dots actually show up. We have reload canceling coming back, which, oh my god, that is such a difficult thing to patch for Modern Warfare 2, I'm sure. Same thing with slide canceling returning. They're gonna bring that back from Modern Warfare 2019 instead of just, you know, putting it back into Modern Warfare 2. Ninja returns as a perk. It's gonna be part of the gear. And again, perks will be gear. They won't be perks. It's kind of weird. But there's two things left on here. The fact that the war mode from Call of Duty World War 2 is also rumored to be coming back in this game. And just in case you didn't play Call of Duty World War 2, the war mode, which was actually created by Raven at that time, which Raven are geniuses, and I, I don't see why they're not making a full-blown Call of Duty game. But that war mode in Call of Duty World War 2 absolutely slapped, and I'm happy to see it come back if this is not just a lie, if the rumor is actually true and last but not least this is gonna be a big one for all you zombies guys outbreak zombies is coming back we don't know if there's gonna be round base so <laughs> i feel so bad for the zombies community i should be laughing it's actually so bad just imagine for a second if multiplayer like 6v6 multiplayer wasn't in a call of duty game and we had to wait years to get 6v6 multiplayer back we would be so pissed at this point for call of duty i am shocked that we don't have zombies in every single game or at least a standalone call of duty zombies game that gets updated frequently like that would be so smart but they just don't do it but yeah that's essentially all of the rumors that we have for modern warfare 3 2023 so far we basically have a fancy emoji now on x.com I, I love that this is the website now i kind of joked about this being the next logo and it looks like it kind of is except they changed the color to red instead of green obviously the audio from the modern warfare 3 teasers from the end cutscene from modern warfare 2 quite literally the modern warfare 3 logo is just the modern warfare 2019 logo but then they added the three little blocks the three little red blocks at the bottom i never actually called the phone number i need to do that this line is designated sierra mike sierra hang up and text 202 okay yeah yeah i get it so if you call the phone number it basically just tells you to text it instead now i am gonna launch modern warfare 2 so we can talk a little bit more about this like this transition from modern warfare 2 to modern warfare 3 because there is some really important stuff that i want to share with you guys right off the bat if you didn't notice this if you have modern warfare 2 on battle.net they rebranded modern warfare 2 to just call of duty which to me at least could be signifying the idea that they're not going to have a separate launcher for modern warfare 3 and that it's actually all just going to be tied into this new call of duty launcher now again this is just my speculation but it could possibly be hinting at the idea that you don't have to get a separate launcher for modern warfare 3 and that you can actually launch both modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 using the exact same launcher wait we got another daily login reward wait oh the snoop dog return of the shizzles here what i'm hinting at here is that modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 could essentially be the same game which overall could mean that when you launch call of duty you'll have the choice between modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 and i feel like this could make it a lot easier for them to sell modern warfare 3 it's going to be a lot easier to spam it in your face even if you're someone who just bought modern warfare 2 and you might just want to play modern warfare 2 and maybe not even buy the next game it's starting to make more sense right i mean they rebranded the call of duty logo they made the change to the battle net launcher i mean i don't know how this is going to affect the steam versions of the game but we'll have to wait and see oh this is gonna take all my cod points on pc but it's worth it i'm pretty sure this is the only new skin that would actually be worth buying he apparently has an exclusive execution as well that you can't put on anyone else am i really gonna buy this i really don't know if i want to buy this i'm gonna wait it's snoop dogg and it's worth it and there's a chance he might transfer to modern warfare 3 but we actually don't know yet i'm genuinely tempted to buy this bundle just for snoop dogg but at the same time i really don't want to buy bundles for this game i'm gonna hold off for now and here's why there's actually been a couple of things added to the modern warfare 2 store recently which are subtly turning modern Warfare 2's multiplayer pay to win. I did make a TikTok and a short covering this, but I actually didn't do the best job explaining this and it caused a little bit of confusion. So I wanted to follow it up and talk about it more in an actual full length video. So let's talk about this right now. First and foremost, we have the black cell, which if you buy the FTL skin, you apparently get a dog that hangs off of your character's ass, like literally. Essentially, Riley from Call of Duty Ghost will just be chilling right here, having to smell this dude's exo farts. And if you thought that sounded disgusting, wait until you see what the dog actually does. When you combo it with the high alert perk, campers beware the black cell tactical pet may call out if you're hiding in a corner okay yeah so Doors here's the clip my right so this guy has the dog me, on his butt wait for it bros the dog's gonna start barking is that see that guy just running around again is this the same guy just running just doing ring around the rosy oh he's got a doggo 
Yep, and he found it because of that. Look he at that. He got a doggo that was like barking at him. Isn't that ridiculous? Instead of just having a visual cue using high alert, if you buy the black cell and you have the dog, the dog will also give you an audio cue, which is just ridiculous. I mean, there is a chance that it could give your player away, which I do understand is kind of a double-edged sword. But even though this might not be the most obvious or most egregious form of pay to win items in a video game, especially in comparison to things we've seen before in Call of Duty, you know, with like advanced warfare and, you know, stat changing variants. In my opinion, if you you have to buy something in order to get an in-game advantage that's pay to win and in the case of this dog growling at people when you're using high alerts that's just a lesser degree of pay to win but you still can't get this if you're a free-to-play player and you're not willing to spend money on the black cell which i know i'm not but if you can believe it it actually gets worse than that if we go back to the store and we look at this tracer pack right here the dark rituals 3 if we preview this bundle not only do you get the dmz bonus effects like the free uav sweep all kinds of bonuses for dmz which is still just ridiculous this specific weapon right here is essentially pay to win in multiplayer warzone and dmz charlie intel did cover this and it says the new dark rituals 3 bundle in the store features a different hollow thermoscope that has better vision so here's two different screenshots right here this is the default thermal scope looking through smoke obviously we have the orange background here and you can see the outline of the player it does help but wait until you see the one that you'd have to pay for this one right here this is the difference in contrast we have a much less saturated background and the player actually stands out in red and when you look at both of these images side by side you can tell that this one is way easier to actually see the outline of the player you're shooting at yeah we have some firing range footage that someone had replied back with you can see that it also outlines the head and basically the body multipliers that you'd want to be shooting at too which is just so ridiculous like it's actually highlighting the parts that would give you better multipliers as well and this was a really interesting reply too it says here's some hardcore game footage i use the new seasonal ar here which you all know by now is gutless at long range the entire enemy is highlighted, plus lasers are shown in thick bold up close, and when an enemy is about to shoot, there's an indicator over their head. Now, he said that this is a seasonal thermal, so maybe you can actually get this from the battle pass? I'm not totally sure. This actually kind of looks different. I could be wrong. And I will add a caveat here. If you can earn this for free, if there's a way that you can get this site without having to pay money, then that is a good thing and it makes this less pay to win. But ultimately, if you can just go right to the store and buy a bundle, that's going to entice people to want to spend money on it. And like I've said in the past, I'm not your mommy. I'm not your daddy. If you want to go out here and buy this bundle, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to tell you not to buy it. All I'm saying is that I really don't like the direction that Call of Duty is going in by subtly making things a little bit more pay to win, like having these subtle advantages here and there. In retrospect, when we look back at what they did with advanced warfare and supply drops and stat changing variants i mean they were basically just like tossing hot water boiling hot water on the entire community and as a result we did not react well we were not happy about that and while it did actually take them years to stop putting stuff like this in the call of duty games and ultimately move away from supply drops it kind of feels like they're now subtly trying to reintroduce this stuff to the cod franchise ah! okay enough of that now after exposing a lot of this stuff there's been a surprising amount of people who are like well, Eric, if you think the game's pay to win, why don't you just stop complaining about it and stop playing? I really like pay to win garbage. I, I want to buy more of it. That's basically the vibe I've been getting from these people. I'm going to continue to speak up and share my opinion when I think it's necessary. There's only one thing worse than being passionate about the game and complaining and trying to give feedback and advice and stuff. And that's just giving up and not caring. Even though I've been playing Call of Duty for a very long time, I still do love this franchise and I want to see it get better. I want to see it succeed and thrive. And that is the reason why I'm still playing Modern Warfare 2 2022 right now. That's why I still go back and play the old COD games. That's why I'm actually looking forward to Modern Warfare 3, at least in some aspects. Like if you guys want my full take on Modern Warfare 3 2023, I'd say I'm most excited to see where the campaign is going to be going because I actually like the story that they've been telling. Oh, my God. What the? I like the idea of zombies coming back in Modern Warfare 3, although that's going to be kind of weird. I'd imagine it's probably going to be a lot like Vanguard zombies, where it's probably just not going to be all that good. It's going to be underwhelming. We don't know if we're going to be getting any kind of round-based zombies maps. We don't know how that's going to play out. The rumor is only hinting at Outbreak zombies. But as far as it goes for Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer, we really have no clue how it could turn out. It could end up being completely different from Modern Warfare 2 2022, or it could just be more of the same. There's a lot of rumors, there's a lot of talk, but we really don't know anything until we see gameplay. Now, what we do know is that this game is going to be releasing fully on November 10th this year. I'm also pretty sure that the Modern Warfare 3 reveal event is going to be happening live in Warzone next week. And unless I somehow got that completely wrong, I am planning to live stream it on YouTube. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that. Regardless of how it turns out, I mean, the stream is going to be lit. You don't want to miss it. And in typical Call of Duty fashion, I'm sure after this reveal event happens, the pre-orders are going to go live for Modern Warfare 3. And if you do, you're most likely going to get early access to not only the campaign, but also the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer beta. Obviously, if you guys don't want to pre-order or buy Modern Warfare 3, you 
you got me. I'm gonna be streaming the game. I'm gonna be uploading the game. I'm gonna share my thoughts and opinions on it with you guys. I think that goes without saying, man. If you're on the fence about the next Call of Duty game, your boy's gonna be here to tell you guys how it is. <laughs> yeah, even if the next COD game is bad, we still have game chat. Let's not forget that the best part about Call of Duty is the community. Us, the psychopaths who play this game on a regular basis. And I know this is kind of off topic, but I think we also need to talk about X Defiant. There's a pretty good chance that X Defiant is going to be releasing roughly around the same time that Modern Warfare 3 2023 is going to be having a beta. I'm sure they're trying to outcompete each other. We've seen this in the past with Call of Duty. Like, they straight up canceled Sledgehammer's third person Vietnam game to make Advanced Warfare because of competition with Titanfall. So honestly, I would not be surprised if they change up the gameplay for Modern Warfare 3 to be more competitive with what X Defiant can offer. But one thing that should be really different about X Defiant compared to Modern Warfare 3 is that X Defiant is going to be free to play. It's not going to cost anything to try out X Defiant and see whether or not you like it or not. Whereas for Modern Warfare 3, you're most likely going to have to pay $60 to $70. But since it kind of seems like they're comboing everything in the same launcher, I wanted to actually speculate about an idea that I think they might have for trying to sell Modern Warfare 3. Since it's actually sharing the same launcher and it's not really going to be all that different from Modern Warfare 2, what if they actually do sell this game for a lower price and it's more or less an expansion to Modern Warfare 3, like an add-on? Or maybe kind of like Halo, you can just buy the campaign and the multiplayer is free. Now, this is Call of Duty that we're talking about, and I think it is most likely unlikely that they would do that. But this is the new era of COD. I mean, who knows? Maybe they want to do something nice. <laughs> maybe one day I'll wake up and there'll be a gold guitar behind my head. I try to be optimistic, man. I mean, even though the Modern Warfare 3 logo looks red and evil like Makarov's soul, it actually could be a better multiplayer than this. Okay. Dude, why is my character looking up? I don't know what's going on. I got a PS4 controller on PC and a PS5 controller on PS5, obviously. Both of them have started doing this. I don't know what's going on with this goofy ass game. It's like the game is simulating stick drift. I don't understand. Look, stop doing that! My controller is completely fine on any other game. Driving me crazy. Dude, I'm still so torn. I want to get the return of the shizzle, but I don't know if he's going to make it to Modern Warfare 3. And if he doesn't, I don't know if I want to buy him. It's so unfair. Like, Snoop Dogg was in Call of Duty Ghost and he made the game better. Snoop Dogg was in Vanguard and he didn't really make Vanguard that much better because the voice lines weren't that good, but I think they could be pretty good in Modern Warfare 2. But as far as it goes for this whole transition from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3, we don't really know exactly what's going to happen. The official Call of Duty account on Twitter did confirm the idea that weapons and operators from Modern Warfare 2 will be coming to Modern Warfare 3, but they did not specifically say all of them will be coming. They left that information kind of vague, so we don't actually know exactly what we're getting. Could it be every single weapon and all the operators? Maybe, but we don't have complete confirmation yet. Also, wow, that could have been such a nasty clip. Hey, yo, we got gold. Nice. Completely forgot I was going for that. I just want to hit like a stoinker with this thing. I'm gonna get like a six on. Whew. Stop giving me hoomakers! Tired of it! If he would have peaked a quarter of a second sooner. I'm so close to hitting a banger with this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> You know, I've talked about this before, but I'll just mention it briefly again, just so we're all in the clear here. Skill-based matchmaking has been plaguing the recent Call of Duty games, and I'm pretty sure the next one and every other game is going to have it too. At this point, I think the only way we could trust that there wouldn't be skill-based matchmaking for casual 6v6 multiplayer is if they explicitly say that it's not going to have it. Very similar to what X Defiant did, where they were super transparent and openly just said, hey, we're not going to have it. As long as that's still a very big deciding factor in how multiplayer works for Modern Warfare 3, then I wouldn't really expect things to be all that different. You play one good game, and then you suffer through five to ten more matches before you're allowed to play another fun match. Even after all of this time, that's still how it feels on Modern Warfare 2 2022. And that shitty feeling is not going anywhere unless they get rid of it. Or at the very least, tone it back big time. Oh. Oh my, what? They're all just chilling in there. We still have people like this who are spamming brechies and they still have shields on their backs and it's annoying, but I do at least appreciate the stealth nerf to the riot shields on the back. But I'm desperately hoping that in Modern Warfare 3, the new one, we won't have to deal with the turtling BS. That is something that has not been rumored yet for the next game and I'm really hoping that they get rid of it. And with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me react to the Modern Warfare 3 teaser reveal thingy. If there's anything that we've learned from all of this, it's that the color is changing from green to red. Okay, I apologize. I'm a professor. I shouldn't be goofing around about colors. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did and you're looking forward to modern warfare 3 make sure to drop a like i'll see you guys later